Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hi. My baby, our channel, but this little miss has her own <laughs> channel actually. Search Logan's Playhouse on YouTube and you will see Logan's new YouTube channel. We have like about, probably about five or six videos up already and we're gonna have so much more to come. Her birthday's coming up, so we're gonna show y'all her birthday party. <laughs> all that fun stuff. <laughs> so today we wanted to come talk to you, talk to the parents and the other kids who are out there about some illnesses that Logie got, quick little minor things, but strep throat. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on, baby. Quick little minor things um, like strep throat and pink eyes. She got them both this year. We're in 2019. Um, we're in September currently, so Hopefully my girl doesn't get sick anymore, even though it's like flu season's coming up. But she got the pink eye first and then the strep throat a few months ago. So let's tell them, which one do you want to tell them about first? Mm, strep throat. Strep throat. So that sucked. And I think she just gets these from school. She is in VPK, so she is around a lot of kids and, you know, the sneezes, the coughs, the uncleanliness or what have you. So, um, yeah, so she wasn't feeling good. She was sleeping a lot and she was had a fever. Remember, you were so hot before we took you to the emergency room. So yeah. she was really, really hot. She was lethargic, like tired. And, um, you know, she had a fever, a legit fever. We were giving her medicine and stuff like that. And so after that lasted like, a, I don't know, it wasn't too long. It was like a day or two. Uh, took her to the ER and I, e. the E, the emergency and I thought I saw like the white stuff in the back of her throat like I wasn't clear because of the way she was opening her throat but I'm like man I hope my baby don't have strep so we went there it was like nine o'clock at night I had to work the next day and um, my mom met us up there which was so helpful and they took her back they did all the the swab and temperature stats all that stuff took us back and they said that she tested negative for strep um, and they couldn't really say what was causing the fever and stuff like that. Um, it would go down with medicine. And my girl's a champ when it comes to taking medicine. I love medicine. It tastes like candy. <laughs> she likes medicine. Sometimes I'd be having to tell her, like, Lo, this is not candy. It's medicine. Um, you can't have more. <laughs> you can't have too much. Um, Why? And so because medicine is has stuff in it to help you feel better. But if you drink too much, it will not help you feel better. It will actually make you feel even worse. You can get even sicker if you take too much medicine. And we don't want that to happen. Did you hear my body? So um, she went home with my mom and my mom said that whole night, like she was just shivering and she threw up twice. And um, my mom ended up taking her back to the ER again. And then they did another, um, the doctor, they saw a doctor when we went, we just saw like a nurse practitioner. And he instantly was like, yep, strep. So she had to be on amoxicillin. Remember the medicine with the syringe? Yeah. She liked it. <laughs> um, I think it was like I 10 days. It. She was on amoxicillin for like 10 days. And then we kept her home from school for a while. So that was that. A lot of patients, she had no appetite. Um, you know, I'm sure I had strep a, a long time ago, but it's your throat and I'm sure it's very uncomfortable to swallow food when it's not feeling good. So it's, it's really hard when, when people have to swallow a thing, they have a strep throat and it really hurts. Yeah, I bet. So that was tough. You know, I wanted her to eat, but I wasn't going to force it. I even went and got her like chicken noodle soup and she really wasn't feeling it. But she, you know, her appetite did get better. Made sure to keep her hydrated with fluids. So definitely keep them hydrated with fluids or Pedialyte. We didn't do any Pedialyte, we just did fluids. Um, and just kept her cozy and, you know, taking her medicine. So the pink eye also, I believe, came from school. And it was just like one morning when I was getting her ready, I just noticed it was like just a conglomerate. It was just like goop of like mucus, just like, um, on her eyelashes and so some of her eyelashes were clumped together um, it didn't start off that extreme but you you know she had more than the normal eye boogers if that makes sense like they were excessive and um, this time we just went to the minute clinic and CVS and they were able to diagnose and say that yes it was and gave her the eye drops 
So this is where it got interesting because she actually did really good with the eye drops. After a while, and a lot of people, well not a lot, but some people can't really do eye drops too good. I do eye drops good, but like, because I wear contacts, so it doesn't phase me when something comes that close to my eye, and I know it's not going to hurt. And, you know, once she got over the fact that it's not going to hurt, right, it's not going to burn or sting, um, but it might make your vision just a little blurry, and you know, for a few seconds. She was great with the eye drops. And we did them, we had to do them like twice a day, morning and nighttime. And you know, her, she was like appetite wise, she was fine. Um, maybe if anything, a little fever, but nothing like she was with strep where she was like burning up, like she was hot. We had put like cold washcloths on her legs and stuff. So, so yeah, we wanted to make this video just to share our experience and to help other parents and kids who may be going through that. It sucks being sick and seeing your little one not feeling good, but wash your hands, you know, when you, we have a thing of hand sanitizer, my mom's a nurse, so she always, as long as I can remember, kept hand sanitizer, kept hand sanitizer in the house. So we have a hand sanitizer, washing hands, um, you know, and just trying to not rub our eyes and making sure, you know, just staying clean. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Logie's channel. We'll put a little link right here and um, support my baby. And if you have kids, um, definitely show your kids her video. We would so appreciate the support. And um, we would love to collab with any other kid channels out there and do like a collab video. Or if anyone's local in the Central Florida area, that would be super cool. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.